wait, there's, there's something missing. Ah, that looks better. All right, then uh, let's talk about uh, next shared folder and 10K. Here we go. All right, before we dive into what is all about the shared folder in Next.js, and if you never heard about it, it's not a problem. I want to say thank you to all of you for the 10,000 subscribers. After just a year and a little bit of uh, YouTube, I never imagined that I would cross the number at all. So thanks to everyone for all the interactions, all the, the of course, watching the videos, but commenting, suggesting, um, constructive criticism, sharing things with your coworkers as well. and. Yeah, for, thanks for everybody, um, for, for all the guests um, in the videos, also on, on Deja View, right, on the podcast. Uh, thanks to my editor, Nikki for, well, <laughs> producing uh, all of these videos. And if you haven't seen all of them, check out some of them. There, there are quite a few now, over 50, uh, including also some live stream videos, so definitely worth uh, watching. And yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to a, a special, which will happen at some point, um, probably still this year. We recorded a few things in there, so uh, stay tuned for the 10K subscriber special. But now let's get started with Nux.js and the shared folder and switch to our demo application straight away. And of course, our demo application is as minimal as possible. We just have some color corrections for the dark mode and we opt into the Nux for breaking changes, which is, well, well explained already. Link to the video in the description if you don't know what's all that about. Perfect. And usually we start with the problem, and this time the problem is about architecture and code and not that much of what you see. So let's see what we actually want to solve. Well, let's let's move into the client part here, into our app.view, we have a simple message, and let's say we want to uh, capitalize this message. So we start, yeah, okay, we could have a, a capitalize function, right? Oh, apparently there is one from view that we definitely don't want to use, so let's not use that and write our own. Um, because that's really not related to our code. And then we say, I don't know, const capitalize is something like, okay, we take a string here, no problem. And then we take the first character and uh, cast it to uppercase, right? And then we just add the rest of the string here. So this is a very easy way to capitalize things. Now, of course, complained a little bit that, well, we want to define it first and we're good. And of course, such a capitalized function is not really related to the component, so we rather want to put it um, in, in a better place. So usually we start, okay, you know what, it's not a composable, right? Also, if you don't know the difference between a function and composable, also talked about that in a different video, but this one is not because of various reasons. So let's create a new utils format.ts file and just move the things over here, right? They want to export it as well, and so far, nothing crazy. It, Totally makes sense to extract these small utilities. And weirdly enough, there is no error here. Well, for the ones using auto imports heavily, you know why? Well, because of course, everything in the utils folder is available to be auto imported in your components, composables, and so on and so on. So you can use all your utils straight away without importing. You can even uh, go to them and jump straight away to the <laughs> definition without uh, worrying. So we don't have all the import statements in the beginning. And while it's really cool, there is, there is one downside, like capitalize is not really bound to a view component. So one could say, okay, we have a full stack application. Let's go into our server API test endpoint that's empty right now. And here we want to also return data and we use capitalize. And here it starts. We can either take the view function or we can import that from utils format.js, which is not a nice way but the auto imports don't work. So we can not just do this and say server here, which in a way makes sense, right? Because what you really don't want is to intertwine your server and your client context. I know in different frameworks, it's of course different, but in Next.js, there's a clear boundary between what's on the server, what's on the client. Sometimes there is some kind of handshake, of course, right? Like the balloons behind me, they're touching each other. Um, don't cut it in the wrong context. So uh, in the end, we have Nux and Nitro working together at some point, but other than that, it's fully separate. How can we change that? So how can we define our utilities so they are available in both contexts, especially when they are contextless? Like a capitalized function, it doesn't matter if it's on the server, on the client, with you, in the browser, whatever, it's just JavaScript, right? While a PDS store, for example, a PDS store, you don't really want to run on the server and 
I don't know, some uh, storage operations based on some kind of, I don't know, Redis cache, let's say, shouldn't be run on a client either. So how can we do this? So for a long time, the idea was to just create also a server utils folder. Also, let's say format.ts, the name doesn't really matter here. And you know what, we can just copy things over. And while we have code duplication, that's really, really not ideal. So instead, what we could do is we, we say, okay, we do the import here straight away. So import capitalize over here, but then we export it straight away. So we technically take that file here and say, okay, it's just basically another export to make it available. And while this works, it's still in a way intertwining server and client context. So yeah, that's really not ideal. But especially when you use Nux3 and there's nothing available between like server and client, so to say, because everything is in the top level folder, it's a bit tricky. But luckily there is a solution to that. And the solution is the so-called shared alias or also shared folder, because now with the next four directory structure, we have app and server, but why not also adding a shared directory for everything that's contextless, which means not only easier imports and also auto imports for shared types and utils, because of course types can also be auto imported, but also making it very clear in the code that this is something that's contextless, that's uh, totally like just formatting utils, sometimes also business logic, and uh, totally fine to go on either side. I personally reach for a pattern like that quite often when developing applications, just building it on my own, because, well, it's more expressive and I would say more clear where the code belongs then. So while this issue is still open, as you've seen, there is a PR that is actually um, work in progress and might be merged very, very soon. This PR is very likely to be merged soon. And then we have this change also available in the nightly version of Nux.js and hopefully then soon the newest miner. Daniel committed a few things here and thanks to Esteban's great work, this has been pushed along. But if you don't want to wait that long, I mean, you might have already applications working fine with the new Nux4 directory structure. Why not implementing it ourselves? More or less what the PR does, but in fully your user land and see why it makes sense to maybe upgrade or update as soon as the uh, whole integration is available because there are a few things that we can't fully do or with more effort that we don't want to do today. So let's see what they are and first implement the very basic version of the shared folder. To get started with the shared folder, we just create a folder called shared top level next to app, server and public if you have null modules and so on, so on. And that's it. The next thing we want to do is we want to create utils and maybe in this case format.ts and take whatever we have in our app utils over here. We can also just copy the whole thing over, right? We don't even have to create it and just Move it over here, perfect. And then of course, remove the server utils folder unless there are more things in there that you need. So now we have this wonderful capitalized function. And of course, in our app.view, yeah, that's still here. It's tied to any, it will very likely break. So we don't have anything um, that's imported here anymore. And if you open our application, then we would see if things wouldn't work anymore. But luckily there's an easy solution to that. We go to our next config. And now what we wanna do is a few things. First. We want to add auto imports for uh, utils and types. With types, we also show a little demo in a second for the shared folder. And I've also explained already how to customize auto imports. So I don't want to go through that in too deep. We'll just do it. And also want to do it also for uh, the Nitro, the server side, because you have two options and either of them is either for the server and the Nitro part or the view and next part. So uh, the app part, so to say. Let's do that real quick. And before, let's add a new types folder here because we also want to do something here and say index.ts export type my type equals record. Um, I don't know, it's just uh, test uh, 10k subscribers. Yay. Perfect. That's a nice type. I like it. Okay. And to add the auto imports, we have two things that we need to do. We have the imports option for Nux side. We have directories. And in here we can put shared types and of course shared uh, utils. The only thing is now you might wonder, uh, wait, wait. Um, these are always based on uh, the source directory, which in this case is app. So that won't be found, which means we have to put in a dot dot slash here. Also, it looks a bit weird because we are in Nux config here and this is the same level, but because the directories are resolved based on the source folder, so based on here, that will not work. 
So we have to put a dotted slash in. And now we even see, because the Nuxt server updated, ha, huh, it's already there. It's pointing to shared utils and the app part works fine as it should. Now, up to the Nitro part, it's very similar. We just need a Nitro config here. And then we can more or less copy and paste the whole thing. You can also, of course, abstract it away if you want to, or put in on module, whatever you prefer. Also might talk about modules in a, in a future video, if you're interested, of course, right? And for Nitro, we put in exactly the same, and then we check our test file and see, oh, well, this can't be resolved properly. That's because the Nitro resolution works a tiny bit different, and this goes through the root directory and not through the source directory right now. So we have to use shared and not dot dot slash shared here. And we see test is turning, in our case, not red anymore, but typically white. And here we also can jump straight away to the right file. Perfect, so we have that. The only thing left is we should test uh, if that works also with types. And here we have, for example, ah, my type. Now we don't want to import that, but auto import it instead. So remove this line and then we see, oh yeah, okay. It's still correctly resolved on the server side and Nitro. And here we can say tape A equals my type. And we see that as well. And that works. Lovely. So let's remove the cast here because well, that wouldn't work out. And that's fine. And we have our very simple shared folder. It's done. Utils are auto importable on both sides. Types are auto importable on both sides and we're good. Now, the only thing left is what are we missing out? Why can't we leave it as is? What is the Nux application in the future providing us with? What, like, what does the PR do as well? And the answer is in the PR that exists right now and it is import protection. So what we really want to avoid is we don't want to import a Pina store accidentally in a shared folder because everything in there should be contextless or um, an H3 helper or something similar. So the idea is that eventually you only have functions in there that are not bound to either the Nitro context or the view, Nuxt, browser and so on context, which means you shouldn't really import anything from the server folder in there, from view, from anything in your components. And that's what the import protection is uh, keeping us from. It's a very nice plugin called Impound. It's a, a roll-up plugin in the end where you can say, okay, you set up your import protection pattern. This is already uh, in effect for some things like importing from Nuxtkit. And this is one of the things, uh, besides, of course, standardization, that we can't implement that easily ourselves. I mean, it still works, but it's a bit more effort. Nevertheless, this is, of course, what saves us. And of course, we don't have the boilerplate or nux.config, but right now, this would be my suggested setup until the PR lands and the miner is released. So let me know, please. Have you ever felt the need for a shared folder or something similar like that? Drop uh, anything in the comments. Also, what you want to see for maybe new videos for another special, any content-wise where you're like, hey, this would be a, this was amazing. Other than that, check out the latest Deja View episode where Michael and Simona are talking about getting started with Vue.js and a hot take related to composition API. So link all set in the description. Until then, see you latest next Friday and uh, happy hacking, folks. Okay, yeah.